Hello, this is Brian Resney, president of Resney Wealth Management, bringing you an important update about the economy and the investment markets. Well, of course, volatility in 2018 is a little bit higher than it was in the last previous uh, couple years. Remember, volatility is normal, not only in the stock market, but the bond market, real estate, and all asset categories. Unfortunately, most news programs only talk about the stock market because I guess it's more flashy. And the problem with only talking about volatility of the stock market itself is investors think that stocks are risky and they only basically are the only asset category that really has a lot of volatility. And that's simply not the case. I will tell you as a money manager for 30 years, the volatility that we're seeing right now in the bond market and in real estate investment trusts utilities and things of that nature, fixed income type investing are really becoming much more volatile in our opinion and probably will continue so for the next three to five years, even more so than the equity market or stock market. Volatility is normal when you have changing economic conditions, either A, on the short term or even on the long term, like we're going to experience as interest rates slowly go up. Remember, what an asset is worth today doesn't mean what its really true value is over the next maybe one, two, or three years, and that would be more so the equity market. But I will say that if I look at the volatility of the bond market and I look at the economy in the U.S. is starting to expand a little bit uh, more than it has in the last, let's say, 10 years, we're going to see interest rate increases from the Fed. I expect three this year for 2018. In fact, those three interest rate increases will again cause general bonds, whether it's treasury bonds, corporate bonds, it could be utility type stocks or real estate investment trusts, really for those assets to go down because they're really treated uh, and, and cyclical based upon the nature of interest rates themselves. So remember, just because an asset goes down temporarily doesn't mean it's bad, but remember this, when the change of direction of the fundamentals of an asset that you own is starting to show its bad side, it's time to make an adjustment to that portfolio. We firmly like the U.S. economy. We firmly like the emerging market economy. And I will say that we're seeing growth on both sides. I'm going to look for higher interest rates as we go through 2018. We're positioned not only in more cash on our more conservative accounts, but in what we feel is the more appropriate bond allocation in the right sectors of bonds. Remember, not all bonds act the same. Floating rate securities, emerging market debt, local currency seem to be right now the place to be. That may change in a month or in three years. We'll make adjustments accordingly. And as many of our clients have probably noticed in the last week or so, we did make some changes to our positions in Europe and basically either reduced or eliminated that to beef up our exposure within the emerging market and small cap mainly in the U.S. We like again what we're seeing on the economy. Expect volatility like you've seen the first couple months of this year. That's normal. I fully uh, expect that the economy will grow close to a 3% GDP for 2018. Corporate earnings are definitely growing and so are revenues. I believe the tax cuts, deregulation are just starting to take effect. Meaning, I think we're going to see three to five years of a growth economy, potentially longer. And if the economy does well again this year or next year, I firmly believe our current president will be a turn two term president because people vote with their pocketbooks. If you're making money, if you're getting bigger paychecks, which people are starting to see, and the economy overall is getting better, people realize that what's happening now is an improvement and they want to keep that on pace. If you're a client of our firm and you have any questions about your portfolio, please give us a call and or schedule a review appointment. If you're not a client of our firm, it's time you became a client. Get that needed second opinion. And as always, clients, we appreciate your business and we always appreciate your referrals. Have yourself a safe and profitable day.